Let's move on to our second story of the day. Now, the Taraba state government uh, yesterday evacuated 383 of its indigents who were studying at the University of Jos following the renewed killings in the city. Now, an unnamed student at the university was said to have died during the recent spate of killings in the Plateau State Capital. Special advisor to the governor, Darius Ishaku, on student affairs, Samson Tormusa, disclosed this today while briefing journalists in Jalingo. He told journalists that the state government took the steps following a distress call from the students of Taraba, origin studying at the university that appealed to the state government to come to their aid. Now, Olive, this is extremely heartbreaking news. I've been seeing a lot of documents out there saying hashtag pray for Joss, a lot of people on social media saying pray for Joss. And this is a space of killings that Nigeria does not need right now. What's good to see is the fact that the Taraba state government has acted quickly on behalf of its people. However, it, it raises another question. What about the federal government acting that quickly on behalf of all students who are currently studying in the capital of Plazo State, you know? Because it's a serious issue. And like we saw in the reports, the students has already lost their life to this entire thing that's going on, this entire menace, and we just need to see it coming to an now, end. Now, beyond even being retroactive, we need mm. to be proactive. We need to yeah. ensure that these things don't even happen in the first place. We need to increase our security at our schools. I'm grateful that I'm not schooling at a time like this in Nigeria. Mm. And my heart really bleeds for students in Nigeria because you're living in your campus. You don't know yeah. if leaving your hostel to your class, you'd come back alive because there's so much killing, there's so much violence. Yeah. And more especially during the election period, there's so much um, heightened tension in the environment. So Absolutely. we'd like to see that. There's increased security at our universities, in our secondary schools. It was because we did not prioritize their security. That's why we had incidences of Chibok girls and we had the, mm. the incidences of the Dapchi girls happening over and over again in the same... It's like lightning and thunder striking twice. Yeah. So we need to prevent this from happening rather than, you know, um, dealing with the mess that has happened. But our condolences, our thoughts, and our prayers to the family of the bereaved and the families of the bereaved. And we do I want to hope that the federal government is doing something about this to prevent this from happening, not just in Jos, but in all other parts of Nigeria. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.